So this is a lens. This one is a convex lens. And if you look at objects which are close up with it, it acts as a magnifying glass and actually makes the, the image appear bigger. So how does this work and what terminology do you actually need to know about? So this block here is like a cross section of this convex lens. And what we're going to consider is the, re the way that light goes through the centre and also the top and the bottom. I'm just going to turn the lights out and we'll use a laser to see what happens. Now what I have here is just a blue laser and if I shine it through the centre of the block because the angle of incidence is zero, there's no change in direction and the ray of light that emerges out the other side is basically going in a straight line. Now if I move the laser up and I'm just moving it parallel to how it was, this ray of light at the top because it refracts at this surface and this surface, it then means that it refracts and comes downwards. Whereas if I move uh, the laser to the bottom, you can see that the ray of light now moves up. Now if we see the same thing, but this time using uh, five parallel lasers. Okay, it goes a bit crazy on the left here because we've got all this kind of reflected light. But basically what I can do is I can put five rays of light all at once. And what we'll see is that they all converge to one point. Now, um, the amount that they converge depends upon what we call the power of the lens. And that's effectively how fat it is in the middle compared to the edges. Now, if I try a different lens, so this one here is more powerful. What we see is that this one here has got a shorter focal length. Uh, so the focal length is from the centre of the lens to where all the rays cross over. Uh, and that's what we call the focal point. Now there are a few conventions that we use when we're looking at uh, lenses. Now first of all, although this lens is actually quite fat, we're going to imagine for the sake of the diagrams that uh, we've just got a thin line here. And if I put uh, a, like a double headed arrow, this one here represents a converging lens. And we'll imagine that because this is relatively thin, all of the refractions happens in, inside the lens at like the midpoint. Now, um, the other thing is that there's this line that basically runs through the center and you know, hits it at 90 degrees, but like that kind of ray of light in purple. And this is what we call the principal axis. And earlier we saw that there's a point where all of the rays of light converge. Now this point here, uh, capital F, stands for the focal point. And this is at a distance of little f, which stands for the focal length. Now another convention is that we often draw the object as an arrow to show which way up it is. So over here what I have is an object. And the thing about the object is it's a certain distance away from the centre of the lens. And this is a distance of u. Now I have a few more videos that talk about the construction of these ray diagrams for objects at different distances away from the lens. Uh, but the key thing here is that over here we have an image, in this case it's upside down, but also the distance from the lens to the image is distance V. And the important thing to remember is that if you've got an image on this side, then that means that V is a positive uh, value. But if your image is on this side, perhaps with a magnifying glass, that means that your value of V is going to be negative. So in summary, this is just some of the terminology you need to know about for lenses. We've got objects and images at a distance of U and V away from the lens. And also we've got our focal point here at a focal length away from the lens as well. So I've got a whole load more videos that talk about how we actually construct these diagrams uh, to actually look at where the image is formed, as well as linking things like the focal point to the power of that lens.